When we have fat cells that have a higher metabolic rate and are able to burn their own fat for fuel, the fat cells can shrink. And it's the size of the fat cell that matters most when it comes to metabolic health. As a fat cell gets smaller and smaller, the obvious effect on the body will be that fat mass is going down, but it's not the fat mass that matters most, it's the size of the fat cell. And as fat cells shrink, two very important changes occur. One, the fat cells become more insulin sensitive. And as fat cells become more insulin sensitive, so too does the rest of the body because it's generally the fat cell that sets the metabolic tone of the rest of the body. But second, and equally important, is that as fat cells shrink, they actually go from becoming very pro-inflammatory, so actually causing inflammation in the body when they're very big, as they shrink, they become anti-inflammatory. They actually begin releasing molecules throughout the body that start depressing the inflammation. It starts to turn it down. And inflammation contributes to numerous cardiometabolic problems like insulin resistance, type 2 diabetes, heart disease, and more. So the shrinking fat cell starts to reverse the trend of metabolic descent and rather turning it into metabolic improvement. If you're interested in learning more about this study, you can read all of the details at an open access portal, which is available at unicityscience.org.